What's up, YouTube? This Star Wolf. Okay, look. I keep telling y'all, play by play, what's gonna happen in this game. I keep telling y'all, time after time, after time, after time, after time again. Look, I want to read y'all this story. It says, Aaron Glee Jr., 49, this is the suspect, okay, who was arrested Sunday in the deaths of 19-year-old activist Olua Toyin Salawu and Victoria Sims, 75, called his mother Sandra Cutliffe later that night and confessed to the killings. Okay, this is what I'm reading from the Daily Mail. I'm reading from the uh, New York Post. I already knew that they was going to set the stage. Now check this out. Cutliff, who's 67, this is uh this is uh the alleged suspect's mother. Told she told the outlet that her son said he met Salou on a bus and invited her to his house so she could shower. He told her the teenager he told her that the teenager asked him for the drug ecstasy and when he refused she bit him and called him the n-word sending him into a rage okay we're gonna stop right there i'm gonna continue reading now we're gonna stop right there he supposedly met her on a bus the young sister that was killed the activist the black lives matter activist the young 19 year old that was found missing Okay, met her on the bus. She asked him for some drugs, for some ecstasy, and she wouldn't give it to him. First, he invited her to his house. See, all of that, that's, that story right there is bullshit. First of all, she don't even know who this dude is. She's not going... Her. It, I don't know her, but I'm just going to say like this. That ain't her character. She just going to go back to your house so that she could shower. So she couldn't shower at home. She had to go to a stranger's house to shower. And then she asked for some ecstasy and got mad when he refused to give her some. And she bit him. Okay. All right. That's what y'all want to say, but I know it's bullshit. And I told y'all they was going to come with some type of trumped up story, false allegations, when they start killing these uh, protesters and activists. Now look, check this out. It says, he told me that after she got out the shower, she wanted Molly, Cutlip said. He told her he wasn't going to buy it. He says she called him a fat ass N-word and bit him. That's what triggered him off. Glee was arrested in Orlando after police found the two women's bodies in a home he rented in Tallahassee. Cullif says Sims, who knew Glee so well that he called the elderly woman his white grandmother, angered him when she visited and called him a slob, so he killed her. Okay, this was the older white woman. So, he apparently killed her because she called him a slob. But here it is. This is a woman he been lowing for so long, he calls the elderly white woman his mother. But she, he got so enraged, he got real mad that he just killed her for that. Okay, okay. Now, I'm going to continue reading. It says, Salou, whose body was found Saturday, recently spoke at a George Floyd rally in Tallahassee where she met Sims, a well-known local campaigner for uh, Democratic uh, politics. Sims was last seen June 11th and Salou on June 6th. Cullif said she did not know why her son allegedly committed the two murders, but said he suffered from mental health problems and had been in a psychotic downward spiral 
in recent weeks. Now I'm going to stop right there. I told you they have set the stage. I told you this. I'm not saying that this brother couldn't have had a psychotic break. People go through many things in their life and they do have psychotic breaks. There's no given time. There's no set time. They happen unannounced. So this could have happened. Now, the thing is this. We don't know if he actually called his mother and confessed and said that. Where's the records? Where's the phone records? We don't know this. We would need to confirm this with his mother. We don't even know if that was his voice. Like I told y'all before, they use many tactics. They can change up the voice and anything. They didn't have to call from uh, the jail. They could have called from anywhere. They could have called from around the world and called his mom. It's many apps you can do that with right now to disguise your voice. You could be anybody. You could be a woman if you're a man, and you could be a man if you're a woman. You could disguise your voice to sound like anybody, and they have technology where they could have this man talk for a couple of seconds, and that technology will grab his voice and duplicate it and you can make it say whatever you want it to say and then his mom don't even know she's older she not knowing what's going on yeah my son confessed he told me this he's the one who did it he did that is he on medication if he had a mental health problem yeah he probably on medication he don't even know what's going on did they make this brother the fall guy? 100%. 100%. Yes. Yes. And he'll wake up out of his stupor and not know what's going on. And then we'll hear a year or two later, what's going on? I don't remember. I must have blacked out and did this. They said I did it because I damn sure don't remember. Now let me further read. It says, Glee had a lengthy rap sheet and was out on bail at the time of his arrest for allegedly viciously assaulting another woman days earlier. In that case, he was charged on June 9th and accused of kicking a woman in the stomach after she refused to have sex with him. It further states, his criminal record dates back to 1989 and includes robbery, car theft, and credit card fraud convictions. Okay. Robbery, car theft, and credit card convictions. See, that's not even his character. His character, he's a thief. He has car theft. He has credit card fraud which means he's still stealing. He has robbery, which means he's still stealing. This is his M.O. This is what he does. He steals. He robs. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, he's kicking women in the stomach because they don't want to have sex with him. He's inviting young girl over his house because she needed to shower and then she wanted some ecstasy. They saying that the young activist, the young sister, you know, wanted Molly and ecstasy. She taking drugs. See, they already tarnishing her name. This is what they doing. She's a Black Lives Matter activist. But on the flip side, she's doing ecstasy. She's, she's doing pills. She's, she does drugs. This is why she was killed. See, this. listen to what I'm saying now. This is the story they'll put out next when they start their smear campaign the young 19 year old activist that was found dead that was missing she was on drugs she was doing drugs and this is why she was killed i told y'all time and time and again this is how they do this is how they play it 
And it's going to be an open and shut case because they'll say this brother has a lengthy criminal record. He's a criminal and mental health issues. Nobody's going to want to hear it. Ah, yeah, he's probably done this before. He's did that. And then they'll just turn a blind eye to the whole situation when, it, in fact, they set this brother up and they got the two. Don't think they won't use one of us to kill one of us. They'll do that. But see, they'll do it in such a manner, you will look at it and be like, yeah, he got a criminal record. He could have did that. Oh, he had a mental health breakdown. Yeah, he probably just lost his mind and just did that. But ask yourself, you think that sister really wanted to shower? You think she really needed to go over a stranger's house to take a shower? And then do drugs? You really think the woman he been knowing all his life and he called mom? He just went in a rage because she called him a slob? You really believe this story that the media is putting out? You have to dig deeper than that. I'm not believing it. I know better. I didn't seen this too many times. I didn't seen it too many times. And I was looking at that picture of him trying to look in his eyes to see. Because he going to wonder what did happen. What really did happen? Because I'm not buying it. You met her on the bus. You invited her to your house because she needed to take a shower. She didn't know nobody. She, by, she bypassed everybody she knew to go to a stranger's house and take a shower. And then she just asked him for ecstasy out the blue. How would she even know that he would be able to even get his hands on some ecstasy. She don't even know him. He's a stranger. They never met before. The whole story don't make no sense. But this is how they do. I told you. I told you. They have many tactics. Many tactics. Many, many tactics. He's a thief. But here it is. He, he out of character now. You're not going to tell me he's been robbing, car theft, credit card fraud, everything that has something to do with thieving. And then here he is kicking women in the stomach because they won't have, uh, won't have sex with him. And then you let him out? You let him out? Why did you let him out? Come on now. I already know what time it is, and y'all should know what time it is, too. Let me, uh, let me know how y'all feel about this situation, because I already know. This whole situation stinks to me. It's foul. Straight bullshit. I ain't buying it. Rest in peace to both of them that lost their lives. Rest in peace to the young sister pushing the line for the cause. Look here, I'm Star Wolf. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button and that notification bell so you can get my videos when they drop. Make sure you share all my videos on social media platforms. Peace.